Hello, welcome to Four Minutes Closer to God. My name is Doug. I wanted to continue talking about the, getting the most out of the Bible, uh, principles that will apply to study of the Bible, uh, study being different than reading. Um, in reading, you can get through the Bible fairly easily in th reading three chapters a day and five on Sunday. Um, and you can use any pattern you want, Old Testament and then New Testament, and back to Old Testament, New Testament. I have read through the Bible uh, dozens of times, and in that reading, I start in Genesis and go through to Revelation. And so that has worked for me, but reading is very different than studying. And so in the study of the Bible, the principles that apply are really a necessary thing for uh, making the most out of it and to draw closer to God thereby. So uh, one of the things you need to do in uh, this whole process is to try to understand difficult passages that are in the Bible um, by the ones that are plainer the ones that uh, make more sense, just straightforward, uh, literally. So the Bible can have lots of passages that are difficult to understand. Knowing the context and understanding where the people were and where they were coming from, what their mindset was, what they understood about the world and God, um, that will give a uh, context that will be helpful, but also um, you need to take passages that are difficult and understand it by the ones in the Bible that are not as difficult to understand, the plainer ones. Then <clears throat> you need to understand uh, symbolic or metaphorical kinds of passages, ones that are using figurative language, understand those by way of the literal passages. And so there are some that's just very plainly, um, you know, Jesus walked into a town um, and uh, the, the stones cried out um, and sang for joy. Uh, stones don't have voices. They don't cry out in the way that we would say. And so that obviously is figurative language. Um, and Jesus walking into a town is fairly straightforward. We've all done that. Um, then uh, one of the things we need to do is to interpret Scripture by Scripture. So interpreting the Old Testament by way of the New Testament is one way, but then you need to use the Old Testament as the background for the New Testament because the people who were writing the New Testament, that's what they had as their background. So understanding that is really important. So then using the scripture to interpret scripture makes it possible for you to get a proper reading of uh, what is going on in a particular passage. So those things are significant. Um, also, learning to read by way of context. So of anything, say in real estate, um, the key word are words are location, location, location. Um, in reading the Bible, it's context, context, context. So it has been said a text without a context is a pretext. So without a context, you can say whatever you want. So make sure that the context is understood and the, ver the verse isn't taken out of context to say what you want it to say. 